tree? No, that's not an olive. Yes, it is an olive. Yes, it is. Is it? It is an olive. It looks it like is. an olive. quiet here in the mall and we're off on our way down to the waterfront see if we can find something down there have a beer mm. not MSG it's mug so there's your top six chefs down the bottom you've got your top 12 you work out the math I got your letter guess this is better you win sometimes lose sometimes no need to apologize it was the distance we have between us It broke us down in disguise No need to apologize But I can help that I miss you now And I need to reminisce this cause ooh, 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 ooh. We're still at our moments and They keep coming back to me I can help that I miss you now <laughs> Alright, so we um, we ended up at Customs, which we normally do, and had a burger and stuff there, which you just saw on the video. The, um, the Turkish bread's delicious. One of the little things they had with the chilli in it, oh my god, it nearly blew my pants off. What did it do? It nearly blew my pants off. That would be embarrassing. Oh, maybe it should be my socks. <laughs> There's the Aurora. Okay. There's the Aurora. You see the Aurora over there? Three. You probably see it a little bit better in a second. Here we go. Oh, that, that's the um, Aurora Star. That's the Aurora Australis. Heads down to Antarctica. Oh, massive iceberg. <laughs> One of the other great pubs that we like to frequent down at um, Salamanca is Irish Murphy's. You find Irish Murphy's just across from Parliament House Lawns on the corner. They have pretty reasonably priced drinks considering what price you can pay in this area and some pretty good meals too. So check them out. Not endorsed by them. It's a little bit noisy outside though. And no sun. Yeah. We are we actually came in to try and chase some sun today but it's just not happening for us. The sun is over the trees and the clouds are starting to come in, so it's, yeah. and I need my vitamin D. I don't think I've had sun on me for about a week. I need my vitamin B. So if you make your way up Montpellier Street and turn left, you come across this place which is called Preachers. And Preachers has got a lot of boutique beer, if you, that's what you like. Preachers also features on the ghost tour. If you do the Battery Point ghost tour, um, you'll hear some stories <laughs> about that place. <laughs> Very good tour, you should go on that one if you get a chance. And then just up from Preachers, we have Narena House, another one Check out this wall. that you have to. Convict wall built by convicts. <laughs> if you have a chance to um, stop in, the entry, the entrance fee into Narena is pretty reasonable, and the rooms are all set up as they were back in the day and you can have a real tour around and find out what um, colonial life was like back in the day. Lots of musts. Oh, actual fact, we're uh, doing a quick little, uh, I wouldn't say it's a pub crawl, but we're going to stop at uh, Prince of Wales and have a beer and then Shibby's have a beer, but we might go through Battery Point's um, Arthur Circus. Jeff's um, probably hoping that Cheryl Crow is serving it. No, she's not, there. she's not there anymore. Cheryl Crow, <laughs> the story there was we were there one night yeah. having a few 
having a few drinks and the boys got really excited because the person who was serving the drinks from across the bar looked incredibly like Cheryl Crow. Yeah, <laughs> and I couldn't same. disagree. What she smelt the same. <laughs> left at the end of the laneway past the front of Narena and heading up we are going to find ourselves at the Prince of Wales Hotel that's where we're having our next drink and there's something we don't see every day a milk bar yeah. actually this place is pretty cool if it's still open oh, yeah, they are. oh no they're not everything good closes milk bar that's the most haunted house in like, no it's not it's one. Jeff's just checking out what's available through the window at Jackman at Ross, which is where you will cross pie on your way down to Prince of Wales. This could take a while. He keeps yelling at me. Do you want a flan? Do you want something like this? Do you want a vanilla scroll? <laughs> fruit flan? Anybody fruit flan? Danish. A Danish? After that walk up the hill, we need some more sustenance. It's empty. What? It's not closed too, is it? It's been a long time since we came here for a meal, but it is set up for restaurant dining. Something to keep in mind if you are down in Hobart this time, make sure you bring a jacket and some extra clothing because it can be a day where right now we get the sun and then suddenly you end up with cloud and then just for a bit of fun, the wind might pick up. So you might even want to pack a beanie just in case. Is that, is that an olive tree? <laughs> no, that's not an olive. Yes, it is an olive. Yes, it is. Is it? It is an olive. It, looks it like is. An olive. <laughs> it's an olive cut into a hedge, Jeff. I did not know you could hedge an olive. Well, there you go. Mm. Now you've learnt something today as well. Oh. And yes, we have confirmed it was an olive tree. I had a friend once who nearly died in this car park doing a dirty dancing move. Looking for an Italian here, D'Angelo's. That's the place you gotta go. The other thing I recommend that you do if you are down in Battery Point is to go for a bit of a walk around and have a look at some of the houses. They're quite historical and very interesting. And can I just add that they're shippies. Don't see every day. Cat on a trampoline. Shippies is on the corner of Trumpeter and Colville Street and I know that because I just read the sign. Jeff's over ordering a beer. Shippies has got a, a really big interesting history. It's a great little pub. Also featured on the Battery Point Ghost Tour if you go on that one as well. So a, a must, a lot, a full of musts today. Not must sticks but musts. one of the older pubs in Hobart that hasn't gone all contemporary and gutted their um, the insides out and made it look a little bit more modern. I'm not filming you. And you might be visited by Shippy's ghost. We have twice while we've been here. We were around having dinner one night and all of a sudden this door come flung, flung open. And the other night we were sitting in the other room near the fireplace and a whole bunch of soot came and landed on our meal and apparently Shippy's ghost is a bit of a larrikin. So we are at the back of Shippy's. Hello Shippy's back. Draft is very Carlton nice. Draft is on tap so that's a bonus. You may have noticed I'm getting some vitamin B intake this afternoon which I really need. <laughs> Just always getting vitamin B intake. <laughs> so we've got a ghost, we've got an old building, it's full of Sydney to um, to Hobart memorabilia. It's got a great restaurant, it's got a great garden area at the back. It's one of the old pubs that, like I said before, hasn't been stripped to nothing and then built to make look contemporary. And I really like that old pub feel. And we're going to enjoy our frothy 
and we're going to go. by the Friday property. Jeff's annoying me, so I've come to talk to this plant instead. Very, 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 very small. And the reason for that is obviously because they didn't have cars, they had horse and carts. And uh, yeah, they packed these tiny little cottages in and they're quite cute. So if you're ever in Hobart, have a drive around Battery Point and have a look at these tiny little cottages because uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. And they're pretty old, older than me. Now this is a nice cottage and then you look around and you think, what, WTF, what is that? Check out the building on this little cottage here, 1800 is the number. That's what a lot of these houses were like. Oh, beautiful. So this here is not only just a beautiful view of the Derwent River, and uh, train mirror in the background, but this is actually in the 1800s where they used to build ships and it was a slipway. So they'd build the ships down here, as you can see, they've dug it out and they would have had big rails going all the way down to the water. And once the, the ship was built, they'd slide it down into the, into the Derwent River and hopefully it'd float tall ships. Why, why aren't we out on our boat today, Jeff? Uh, a, it's got a flat battery, and B, we're having some beers out, enjoying this beautiful day out in the town and having a look at some historical stuff around uh, Hobart. Jeff? Yeah. How long has it been since we've been out on our boat? Uh, 12 months. How long? 12 months. How long? 12 months. Sorry, you didn't hear? 12 months. Yeah, exactly. I'll try to let go. It's not easy, you know. Something's not meant to be. Let's skip the apologies. Jeff's got his takeaway from the cast. Well, hang on a minute. He's all in an Uber. No, he doesn't, he doesn't even. Just like that, we're in an Uber heading home. Sorry, what? Hey. What's that? We're going home, aren't we, Jeff? Yes, mate. They keep coming back to me. I can't help that I miss you now. <laughs> <laughs>